Hey guys, it's Stephanie with Simmerky, and welcome to the Appaloosa Plains House Tours. Today we are going to try to squeeze three houses in this video, and we are starting off with the Schmidt family. Benjamin is a handyman by day, an eligible bachelor by night. He lives alone with his pup, Ralston, and by no means is he lonely. The women of Appaloosa Plains appreciate his skills, and there's nothing subtle about the number of house calls he makes for a broken, air quotes, appliances. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Got a ladies' man. Will he ever find a reason to settle down? I'm not sure, but I, I think everyone in Appaloosa Plains is getting around, man. Everyone's getting around. Anyways, he lives at the Pinto Palazzo, a one-bedroom, one-bathroom home located at 19444 Bob O'Link Drive. Bob O'Link? Sure, why not? Um, <laughs> it's built on a 30 by 40 lot. More spacious than expected for a one-bedroom home, this home is caught mid-renovation. Oh, mm, interesting. Um, although currently boasting an upgraded kitchen and a large new deck, the bathroom is charitably described as charmingly original, <laughs> and the landscape remains full of potential. More air quotes. You can't see me, so I'm telling you. Um, <laughs> I'm not, this sounds interesting. I'm really curious. Let's go ahead and tour this house. Okay, so here we are outside of the home. It does look kind of small, but it looks pretty cozy as well. I mean, we can't really tell too much from the outside, but there is this cute little pathway here. There is um, parking for a one, parking for a one car. Yes, I know English. Parking for one car. Um, cute little wooden mailbox. That's actually pretty adorable. And then we have this tiny little porch that goes right up to the front door. Nice little column. Ooh, that's actually a nice big front door. Going through the nice big front door, going through the front door, going through the front door of this little cute house. And glitching plants already. Ooh, oh, oh, and the puppy's here. Oh, it's a big puppy. Hey, puppy. Um, Already, I like the, the little designs that are on the pot the pots for the plants, which is actually sort of cute. And I like that the doggy is right here as soon as we come in. Hi, little cutie. Hi, little... Should I hit play? Bad things happen, but I'll hit play for a second. Oh my gosh, I see such a cute fireplace. <gasps> this is... This is so cute. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. I had to take a screenshot. Ah, oh, 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 oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, oh, his bone's kind of magical. His bone's kind of glitching. His bone's kind of flying in the air, but... He's a cutie pie. Oh my goodness. All right, let's let's let him keep playing. Um, <laughs> and by keep playing, I mean let's pause him. Um, so here is the living room. I do like the couch. It's nice black leather sofa. Definitely something you would see in a bachelor pad. And this light, I can't believe I've never seen this before. I don't think I've ever seen that ever in my life. But it's cute. It's cute. I'm surprised he has curtains for a bachelor. Like, I wouldn't even think he put curtains. Uh, I'm... Well, I guess I'm technically a bachelorette, but there's a nice big dog bed. I don't know. Curtains are just weird and annoying. And I do have them in my bedroom, but th this isn't about me. Anyways, there's a cute little fireplace right in the middle and the dining room. The chairs, the chairs actually match. Yeah, he's doing pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, we're going to check out the backyard in a second, but I do like the railings around the kitchen. That's, that's a cute little touch. Definitely makes it nice and cozy. Um, do we have an empty dining room? I mean, probably. Um... I guess this isn't a dining room. Wouldn't, missed opportunity, perfect place for a dining room, right? But whatever, that's okay. Uh, let's go through this door, door number one, which takes us to, ooh, fitness center. I'm surprised he has this here. Very nice treadmill, um, little stereo. What was that? Wait, oh, this is in his bedroom? Okay, that's kind of weird. And I think it's only a one-bedroom house. Mm, okay, that made it really weird. I know some people said, wow, that look, bed looks extra tall. I know some people said in, like, another video I was complaining about that, that they do have, like, fitness equipment in their room sometimes. But wouldn't this just be a cute little porch, just a, cu a cute little... I don't know, sunroom without the bed? I don't know. I feel like you should have a cozy separate bedroom, but that's okay. It's not my house. I don't judge. Who am I kidding? I judge every house. Um, There's an outdoor area, little barbecue grill, and the dog house. I love the, the dog house is blah, blah, blah. I love that the dog house is on the porch instead of on the grass, and I like the little, little football and baseball. I'm sure he plays catch with the doggy, and there's a little workbench over here a sawhorse type thing and very beautiful landscaping. I must say this is actually a really nice home. Yeah, very nice. I wonder if it, mm, I didn't look at the price, but is it starter home price range? Probably not, but 
It's super cute. I I would live here as a starter home for my Sims because I cheat their money anyway. <laughs> um, but is this does that mean there's only one more door? I don't know. We'll have to take a quick look around. But this takes us to the bathroom, I would imagine. And wow, I guess you know, real men like pink, right? Is that the saying? Um, this is a very pink bathroom for a bachelor. Um, not that pink is, you know, just for men, but this was a bit shocking. It's it's a very feminine bathroom, not just because of the color, but because of like the little designs everywhere. Although this tile is pretty amazing. I mean, look at that. Look, that looks so cool. Yes. He, he just won my heart over cause he's got, he's got a feminine side as well. Look at that. Look at that pretty pink bathroom. Um, <laughs> look at me being all stereotypical. I really don't think colors have a gender, but you know, I like to say it anyways, cause I am weird and I say things sometimes. And then I'm like, why did I just say that? But you know what? Let's go with it. He's a, he's a manly man and he likes pretty colors that manly men are allowed to like. Um, <laughs> wow. Ignore me. Um, here's the dog again. Uh, I guess this is my favorite shot. I keep cheating and making my favorite shot wherever the animals are. So I don't know. He's just chewing on a bone. I guess he's having fun. And, um, I don't really think a floor plan is necessary. Oh, there he goes again. Magical bone in the air. Magical bone. You saw the whole house. It wasn't very complicated. So let's just move on to house number two. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to slowly back away. Slowly back away. Okay, so house number two is the Trotter Cottage. It's a three-bedroom, three-bathroom home. There's no tenants here. It is located at 19442 Bobo Link Drive, built on a 40 by 30 lot. This generally, generously, wow, that's a hard word, but generously, that should be an easy word. Um, sized house for a growing family includes a large deck, pool, and solarium. Ooh. I love solariums, all while presenting a modest face to the street. Interesting. Okay, well, let's go check out the Trotter Cottage. Okay, so here we are outside of this home. Um, Yeah, I guess it does look pretty modest from the outside. I mean, it doesn't look bad. I don't know. It's just kind of plain, and it's kind of like a pea soup green, but that's all right. It also has a cute little pathway going to the front and a single parking spot for one car or a motorcycle or whatever you want to park here. Um, we do have another big, beautiful front door and a cute little binge going through the front door, going through the front door. And immediately we're going to go out the back door, going out the back door. <laughs> <laughs> end of the house tour. Just kidding. We'll go back inside. So outside the back, there is a cute little grill, um, a nice little covered table. Oh, that is so cute. I love that umbrella. I never think to use the umbrellas in this game, but that is adorable. And the little candles on top. Oh my goodness. Nice romantic. Um, I do like the pattern on these chairs. They are pretty cool. And oh my gosh, there's a pool. <gasps> pool. Yay, pool. Oh, that looks so inviting. Oh my gosh. So, oh, so pretty. Oh, I want to jump in there. That is a beautiful pool, beautifully shaped as well. And there is a gate through the back of the fence, which I always forget to do every time I build. Lounge chairs. Yay. I miss lounge chairs in The Sims 4. So I'm so happy to see them here. And beautiful landscaping with a little horse. Oh my goodness. There's the solarium. We probably get to it from the inside, I would imagine. I mean, I guess that would make sense. Um, yeah, it's a cute backyard. I don't know what else to say. It's adorable. I would have little dinner parties and go swimming and have a barbecue like all the time, all the time. And the flooring in here is beautiful. <gasps> Look at this couch set, the living room. I mean, it's a little bit drab, but I, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. It's almost got like a Christmas cabin type feel, but I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. There's that bookshelf that I said I was sick of. I always see something new though. I, I mean, I, did I know there was giraffes on it? I knew there was an owl and a horse, but there's giraffes. <laughs> the cute little stained glass lamps. Oh, another beautiful fireplace. Oh my goodness. This is a cute home. Oh, look at the little, the little kitchen and the little dining room. Let's check out the kitchen first. Nice black fridge, dark wood counters. What's this sticking up here? Is that, I don't know. It's some sort of glitch. The whole kitchen disappeared. Oh no, I broke it guys. I broke it. I broke it. Okay, it's back again. Woo, I don't know what happened. Um, oh, it's glitching again. Okay, well, let's get out of camera mode because, you know, sometimes things happen that we don't account for. So uh, here is that dining room. And should I go back in camera mode or are we going to have another freak out? I'll just kind of scroll through here to the solarium. Oh, I'm outside. Okay, I'm back in. Okay, aerial view because what the heck is this? I don't understand. I don't understand what I'm looking at. It's very dark, and um, I guess it's a rock garden? Like, what? what is this? 
I don't, I don't understand. Okay. Anyways, let's, uh, let's, let's continue with our tour. Cause now I'm a little bit cre creeped out that it's supposed to be a solarium, but it looks more like a, a death pit of graveling graves. All right. I'm going to try to go back into camera mode and hope nothing breaks. So <laughs> let's go back down. This is that front door and the back door. So they're right next to each other. That's where we first came in from. And there's a couple mystery doors over here. I'm going to guess this first one over here is a bathroom. Sometimes I'm right, sometimes I'm wrong. But if I had to guess, this is a bathroom. And I'm way wrong. But look at the little horsey on the dresser. It's a bedroom. And oh my goodness, it's a big, beautiful bedroom. Wonderful curtains, nice little study area. Ah, oh, beautiful canopy bed. And this house is empty, guys. So, like, you can move right in here. You don't even have to evict anybody. Um, this must be the bathroom now. And, oh, okay. It's, it's actually kind of cute. Sometimes they make fun of these weird, ugly bathrooms. But I kind of like that tile. I kind of like the green sinks and the green tub. I mean, it looks a little bit dirty. But, uh, uh, yeah. It's, it's, it's kind of cute. <laughs> That's kind of cute. I'll give it that. I'll give it that. I don't know. A green toilet and a green tub do sound kind of weird, though. Oof. Anyways, that's the door to the bathroom, I would imagine, that we just came in. Um, and this, what is this? Where do you go? Gosh, my camera is all sorts of crooked. Oh, it's a kid's room. Look at the double beds with the pirate ship print on them. I don't like that they're so matchy-matchy, but that's okay. There's a cute little computer desk here with a bookshelf and a beautiful telescope and we're glitching out again well that there you have it um i think there is one more room though where does this go or does this just go right back outside we shall find out and oh another bedroom wow this is a nice house oh my gosh i want to live here i want to live in all the houses like <laughs> i mean especially with this one with the pool though oh cute bedroom just gonna kind of zoom through it and glitching again and uh the bathroom no bathroom bathroom no bathroom bathroom okay it's weird and green again and my camera hates me so let's just do a floor plan before we move on to the next house oh there is a cute easel oh and you can see the pool okay this is my room this is my room all right time for a floor plan there you go. It's really cute. Three bedrooms. Yeah, they fit very nicely. Um, the weird three bathrooms. Actually, we missed this little pink bathroom. I assumed that that door went to that green bathroom, but it's just a separate pink one. You know me. I always forget something. And my favorite shot. Oh my gosh, this one's easy. I don't even have to do any weird finagling or editing. I'm just going straight to it right here. Whoa, there we go. <laughs> this beautiful table. I love it. And of course you can see the pool from it. Oh my goodness. I, I want to come party here. I want to come party at this house and look, there's the hot air balloon. Yay. All right. But anyways, we have one more house to door in this video. So I will see you at house number three with the magic of editing in three, two, one. Okay, house number three has a resident. It is the Draper household, and it is called Pacer Place. One bedroom, one bathroom home located at 19440 Bob O'Link Drive. Why don't they tell us anything about the family? Usually they do. That's okay. Well, it says it is a modest house in a forgotten corner of a nice neighborhood. It could be a diamond in the rough for the right investor. Why not take a chance on this one? Maybe she's not supposed to live here? I don't know. I'm confused. But anyways, let's go. Let's go tour this house. Well, that's good timing. Looks like the lady of the home just made it home. Um, her car just pulled up into the driveway. So there is a, a one car driveway. You could probably fit two, to be honest, if you wanted to. And this house is so small, I could already see the whole thing from out here. Oh boy. No landscaping though. I don't see much. Just that cute little pathway. Um, hey, the stairs. Oh, okay. I see. I was like, where the heck, how do the stairs Wow, I'm smart. Let me let me adjust the camera. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. Nice little side entrance. The stairs go right up to this tiny little landing with the same. Is this the same door we've been seeing? I don't know, but it's a cute door. We're going through the cute door. Going through the cute front door. Going through the front door. I messed up the song that's not even the right tune. And my camera's glitching again. What's new? All right. Well, I don't know. I had the lights on. She must have turned them off. But anyways, weird, creepy, dark uh, hallway. And there she is. And is she wearing a flower crown? Oh my gosh. I love her. She's my spirit animal. Yes, she is wearing a flower crown. I can't really see her face. Does she have a beard? I mean, I'm not judging if she does, but you know. Does she have a five o'clock shadow? Hmm. Nope. Just a cute flower crown. <laughs> 
Shouldn't this be paused? I don't know what I'm doing. Anyways, um, here is her tiny little living room. Look at that lamp. Oh my gosh, like that, that is the weirdest lamp I've ever seen. Um, cute blue cabinets though. I mean, or counters, I guess there is no cabinets. Tiny little kitchen. This must be, is this a starter home? It must be. I mean, it's got the starter home TV, but oh, look at her. What is she watching? A Transformers? <laughs> the Simsformers? I don't even know what that is. Um, anyways, there is a tiny little table and chairs. What a cute outlook. A cute look, a cute window, a cute view, a cute view. <laughs> and there's the ice cream jug next door. <sighs> Oh, I can talk. Anyways, I have a feeling this is going to be really small. So we probably have a bedroom and a bathroom. And this is probably the bathroom, right? 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 It is. And it's kind of ugly. But you know what? It's a starter bathroom. <laughs> All right. And then this is her bedroom, which, you know, I'm going to guess it's pretty ugly too. I'm sorry. I'm really rude. But yes, I was right. Like, what is this? There's a bed and a, a wicker lamp. Like the whole the whole lamp is wicker. There's no separation between the lampshade and the base. <laughs> Oh, goodness, Sims. Oh, goodness. Well, this was the last house, and I don't have a favorite shot. I mean, I do have a favorite shot. I'm lying. Let me go to my favorite shot. But it is so dark and creepy in here. But you know what? There it is. There you have it. The lamp. I guess this is my favorite shot because I do like that you can see outside. It's like a cute little porch. It would look much better with some pops of color. But anyways, um, you don't need a floor plan of this either because that was so tiny. It was so tiny and I'm getting lazy in three houses in one video. Phew. Anyways, if you're enjoying this series, let me know in the comments. And if you uh, want Sims 3 and Sims 4 videos daily plus weekly live streams, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye! Wait guys, before you go anywhere, don't forget to click over here to watch new videos and click on my face when I disappear to subscribe.